Wildfires burning in the Northwest Territories have resulted in an almost empty yellow knife as the fire creeps closer and closer to the capital. People scrambling to leave their homes after evacuation orders were issued Wednesday night for all 22,000 Yellowknife residents. Nobody envisioned an event of this scale um, and it, it was just, and it's still really stressful. There's a lot of people left in Yellowknife that are freaking out. As of Friday, there are 236 active fires in the territory with flames about 16 kilometers away from Yellowknife. The question of you know, how is everybody going to get out? We don't have a car. Federal ministers say 79 long-term care residents were airlifted out of the city to Alberta with a Hercules aircraft last night. We'll continue to focus on helping the most vulnerable and we'll be there to help for as long as it takes. 22 evacuation flights were scheduled out of Yellowknife today with officials saying they will charter more flights if needed. The vast majority we know of people that will be evacuating will go to, to family and friends, uh, but for those who do not have that uh, resource available to them, we'll make sure that, that they've got a, a, a safe place and that we move as quickly as possible to get them back to their homes. We're encouraging everyone who can to please leave by road. Yellowknife's Mayor Rebecca Elta says the only road out of the community remains open, though smoky. She says this is the first time she's seen wildfires threaten city limits in this way. No fire has ever gotten this close to Yellowknife. And that also makes it a challenge because that means that uh, there's there's more fuel. And whenever we say fuel, we mean more trees that could burn. So uh, it's, um, yeah, like nothing we've seen before. Evacuee reception centers have been set up as far south as Calgary. Yellowknife officials warn residents not to evacuate by boat saying the air quality is expected to worsen. Melissa Nakavali, City News.